So the first version of the navigation mesh baking for train is added. You can go to my GitHub page and download the latest release. Let me show you what I want to achieve at the end of this video. Here we have an NPC. We also have a river and also we have a bridge. What I want to do is to make the NPC go from bridge even if the path to the target is shorter if you go through the river. By the way, the target here is the pink cube at the other side of the river. So let's run this and see the result. As you can see, the NPC is going over the bridge despite the pass through the river is shorter. Now if I remove the bridge and disable its navigation, the NPC will go through the river. Okay, so this is how I did that. I added two navigation mesh under my train. One of them is for river and other one is for train. So you can see I increased the travel cost for river. So even if the pass is closer by river, NPC prefer to find another way. So let me remove this and start from the beginning. For baking navigation mesh on train, what you need to do is to add M navigation region 3D as the child of the train. This node inherit from navigation region 3D and it also has the capability to bake the navigation for train. So I add that and I call that a train navigation. And then I create a navigation mesh resource for that and I make sure it is active. Just restart the train. Okay, as you restart that, a navigation mesh will be generated for train. So you can see the navigation mesh is not really accurate for now. For making that more accurate, just under navigation resource, under detail, increase the navigation detail just by a little amount. I also decrease the navigation radius so our navigation mesh become less big and then click on force bake. You can see we have more accurate navigation mesh now. Don't decrease a lot the sample distance. If you do that the navigation mesh baking take much more time also. For example if I reduce that to 2 and I force bake that again, you can see baking nav mesh take much more time also. If I click on that during the bake time, you can see it will give you an error which tell you that the current baking is still not finished. Bake navigation mesh for train run on a different CPU thread. So it will not freeze your game, but if the current bake it still is not finished, you cannot bake another navigation mesh. So less accurate navigation mesh give us the faster baking time. Also, the pass finding will be faster. But there is one problem, and I think this problem can be solved. You can see with the navigation mesh with less detail, sometimes the navigation mesh pass through the train. Or also the opposite thing can happen. So imagine this is our train and navigation mesh. You can see the train has more detail. And this is the NPC pass. And the pass become almost perpendicular to the train sometimes. And this will cause many problems. I try to zero the Y component of the pass and only take in account the X and Z component. So we don't move the NPC up or down. We move that only in X and Z plane. This will work better, but sometimes the path become completely perpendicular to the train and X and Z component become zero. And the NPC will stuck on that situation. So this thing need a little bit more work. And if you found a better way, let me know. Also, I think if Godot developer add this option inside the navigation agent, so you will be able to remove the Y component from the pathfinding algorithm, it would be really good. But I think this will have a solution. Other important thing that I should mention is that as we work with a large navigation mesh, it is better to change some of the setting in Godot project. One thing I suggest to do is to set the navigation cell size to a bigger size. The original one is 0.25. I set that to half 
if a bigger size work for you it is much better in these days i tested a lot the navigation system in godot and usually godot navigation system struggle to find the path when the navigation mesh is big so increase the cell size will help a lot after you increase the cell size you should also change the cell size inside the navigation mesh resource so it will be baked with the correct cell size another thing about navigation mesh for train is that i recommend to set the navigation region height to a high number this will help a lot to bake the navigation mesh for tree because normally navigation region take into account grass or tree with collision other thing that i can mention here is that you can set the slope threshold for navigation baking for example here we can see navigation mesh is not baked for this part which has a steep slope if i go to the navigation agent and i change the max slope to 30 and i rebake the navigation mesh it will remove more navigation mesh in this region by default the navigation mesh will create around the camera but you can set a custom camera i mean you can set that to a position of enemy or any 3d node which has a 3d position or you can deactivate the camera follow and it will be created around the position of the navigation region node so you can see as i deactivate that it is gone so let me change the position of the navigation region again okay as i move the navigation region here it is going to bake the navigation region for this part of the train navigation region is going to rebake the navigation only when the distance to the last update point become bigger than the distance update threshold so if i decrease this uh, distance update threshold and i move the navigation region it is going to rebake around each 10 meter you can bake the navigation mesh also offline if you want you can also pre-bake the navigation mesh so during the runtime we don't have any navigation mesh baking so if you want to do that just bake that one time in editor and then deactivate that now let me add another navigation mesh for river for being able to paint where navigation mesh can be baked or cannot be baked you should first set a paint data to this so first i create a paint data for navigation region here i want when the paint data is created all the train automatically included we should check on all at creation you will understand this in a moment okay i just saved that and make sure to save that with dot res extension then i create a paint data for river for river i just unchecked set on all creation so there will be no navigation mesh unless i paint that now just create the train so as you create the train for the first time with an empty paint data it will populate the data based on your input okay i just click on river navigation region and then i activate the paint mode and i just paint everywhere i want navigation mesh for river as i unchecked on all at creation for river river by default does not contain any navigation mesh now i just select other navigation mesh for train and as you can see navigation mesh for train is active by default for everywhere i just unpaint where i don't want the navigation mesh now you can see in some part of the train a pink mesh appear that represent that godot navigation system automatically generate a bridge between these two navigation system you can change the bridge setting for navigation system in the project setting now if i run my game you can see the player find its way toward the target now we add the bridge and increase the cost travel for river and just decrease the cost travel for bridge but one thing that i want to say is that i tweak the navigation system for train a lot so be able to travel across the bridge it is a little bit tricky to get this thing to working you can see now we have bridge but it is not working i also tried to use navigation link for bridge but that did not work properly also so in my opinion 
Just test this, change the navigation parameter. Also read the Godot documentation for navigation system and see what you can do. With more practice, you can make much better choice for your game. Another thing that I want to mention is that the navigation system for train has quite some bugs for now. And I want to add some small feature to that also. I will correct them in the following days. So try to recheck my GitHub or you can active watching on my GitHub. So GitHub will send you a notification when I update my repo. And also if you like my plugin, give me a star on GitHub. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, have a good time.